my name is Ileana Mejia and I'm in 10th grade. My name is Jessica Supa and I am an adapted physical education teacher here as well as the director of Camp Wanaqua. I think for one, like when we go places, it broadens our horizons not only in like places that we go to and getting to see new like sites, but also the people that we meet and getting to meet new friends and getting to relate. One of them was getting to go and finally participate in my in a swim tournament. And there was Marianne. She was a survivor of the Holocaust and I thought that was really it's really important for our students to have new experiences, especially from um, people in the community, whether they are role models who are blind and visually impaired, running their own businesses. There's so many different things that our students are capable of, and it's really important for them to know that even though they have a disability, they're able to accomplish and do anything that they put their minds to. Hi, my name is Kevin Figueroa, I'm 18 and I'm a 2019 graduate of the New York Institute for Special Education. Staff was amazing. Something that like, again, really surprised me was that one-to-one -one connection. The students had this relationship with teachers that basically gave them a second, a second parent almost, where you know you could trust them with anything that you told them. Thank you to all the staff who helped me through this rigorous journey through my life and showing me that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that pursuing whatever you want is actually possible. I'm Rosemary Henry Webson and I teach fourth and fifth grade. Well, I think that um, new experiences are always good because it's a way of learning. We, we learn as we get exposed to new people, to new things. Um, going on trips can also help to reinforce lessons that we teach in the classroom. One of the trips that stands out for me was the trip to the Museum of Natural History because we were studying um, living things, you know, animals, and when we were able to go and see the difference between a turtle and a whale, it put things in perspective for the students because they were able to see the difference in sizes and complexity. Sometimes when we're teaching in the classroom, it's just so abstract, but when they're able to go out and do hands-on experiences and touch things and hear things and see things, it actually adds um, depth to the lesson. We really appreciate all of your generous donations. We wouldn't be able to do half the things we're able to do without the kindness that you have given us. So thank you so much for everything. Thank, thank you. you.